Lincoln Center, this is Global 33. Global 33, this is Lincoln Center, over. At uh, Lincoln Center, we uh, got a bit of a problem here. We have no hydraulic fluid. Uh, what's our chances of being able to make the airport? Uh, we don't feel you could possibly make it back to the airport. All right then, well, um, we're gonna crash. Uh, if you want to give away runway 29 or to another plane, you're welcome to. Uh, we are not going to get there. Copy that, 33. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ash Reamer, airline pilot. Um, I just wanted to let you know, uh, give you a little update, what's going on on the flight. Now, uh, the plan was to land in uh, about two hours. But what's going to happen is we're not going to so much land as suddenly fall out of the sky. Um, some people prefer to call that crashing. I don't. I think it's a very negative concept. Uh, but we won't be in the air for much longer uh, because of an engine failure problem that you might have detected. I don't know. Now here's a question you have to ask yourself. Does it matter whether you buy it now, crashing in a plane, or a year from now, getting hit by a car? I mean, it's all the same. Maybe your number was just meant to be up now. In any case, Transglobal Airlines is sorry that this happened to you, and, uh, and we certainly hope your relatives will consider flying Transglobal Airlines despite this somewhat unfortunate incident. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't honestly remember the last time Transglobal had an air crash. It's been quite some time, as a matter of fact. It's a shame it has to be this one. I had a good record up until now. That's a damn shame. <clears throat> I just wanted to say it was a pleasure flying with y'all. Uh, if this crash wasn't going to happen, I'd say uh, it would have been a, just a beautiful flight. But uh, well, we can't call it beautiful now. I mean, let's be honest, it's not, uh, it's not beautiful. It's uh, kind of horrendous. Should be pretty quick, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're probably going to wind up nosediving about 500 miles per hour into the ground. Uh, that pretty much means that uh, they're probably not going to identify any of us. Uh, there's, we're just going to be like little bits of jelly. I know this seems like a strange time to say this, but I wanted to thank you for flying Transglobal Airlines. I mean, if you're making any frantic calls to your folks back at home, please tell them to consider Transglobal in the future, regardless of what happened here, because this is unusual. We don't usually crash our planes. This is very much out of the ordinary. So keep that in mind. Oh, you think you can fly this plane? Oh, sure, you come on up here. You come on up here and fly this plane. I'll give you the controls right now. I'd like to see you stay on a glide path in total fog. See how you do, huh? Yeah, you're gonna crash just the same as I'm gonna crash. And you know, if you're that unhappy with my flying, oh, I'll take us in right now. Your relatives aren't gonna have anything to bury except a pile of goo. Think about that for a minute. Think about that. Concentrate on that for a minute, huh? Lincoln Tower, this is Global 33. Global 33, this is Lincoln Tower, go ahead. I just wanted to say, uh, you know, since I might not get another chance, I've always found you boys to be tedious and ridiculous on the ground, and uh, I've never liked working with you ever. Yeah, well, you're a major league asshole, Ash. Fuck you too. Well, that was easy. Hey. Captain Dave of the Federation Starship Lyndon Johnson. What's going on on your side of the galaxy? We deal with the captain of the Lyndon Johnson all the time. His name is Kowalski and you are not him. <laughs>